New this week, a push to do away with the South Carolina tampon tax. A bill passed in the House Thursday will do away with the tax on menstrual products that will save women money each month. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker breaks down the bill tonight and what people have to say in response. Menstrual products are out in the open and they're a common purchase. But in South Carolina, on your receipt, there's hidden dollars you're spending. For some women in South Carolina, they say it's time to ax the tax. It was silly. It really sucks that, you know, women have to think about one more thing. They're talking about the tampon tax. Just one of those functions, one of those like humanly functions that we can't control. In the Palmetto State, there's a tax on all menstrual products like tampons and pads, unlike tax free items like groceries and prescriptions. But women should have to pay, pay a tax for that, something that they have to have. Thursday, House Bill 3563 aims to do away with this. South Carolina is one of 22 states that have the tax, and it brings in about $4.5 million annually. Would I rather not have to fight a period every month? Yeah. Melissa Soul with Low Country Period Pixie says the group continues to fight for menstrual equality, labeling this tax as gender discrimination. They have the menstruation um, stimulators, and when you put it on like grown men, they pass out. They literally pass out from the pain. But we're expected to like function and go to work and have like regular dates, but men can't handle that. The least they can do is not tax things that we don't even want to have. She highlights this tax is just one of the many hurdles women face in the fight for equality. Another example is the pink tax. When a company sells a female version of a product, like a razor, but it's more expensive just because it says for women. If middle class people can't afford this, a tax, a couple cents here and there, that adds up. So for now, while it's become muscle memory for some when buying these products, it would just help out the community a whole, a whole lot. Some say they are going to think about it a lot more when they get their receipt. In Fort Mill, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.